Hey, this morning, Chuck's Big Adventure is all about man and woman's best friend. And for so many of us, you know that our dogs are just part of the family. They certainly are. So why not vacation with them, mm -hmm. right? Chuck found a spot <laughs> in Vermont dedicated to all breeds. Chuck? Absolutely. In fact, grab your cup of coffee and watch this. Dog Mountain celebrates the special bond we have with our pets. It's a place full of joyfully wagging tails, wet dogs, and remembering the pups we've loved and lost. How do you honor unconditional love? How can you praise your most faithful companion? Well, in this corner of Vermont, you give them their own mountain. Who comes to visit? Everybody. I mean, <laughs> you know, people come from all over the world, and we have a map out on our front porch with pins in it that shows where people have come from, which is amazing. And this is more than just a park or a gallery. It's kind of a mission, right? It is a big mission. It's a mission to preserve artwork, the artwork of Stephen Hunick. Renowned folk artist Stephen Hunick and his wife Gwen created Dog Mountain in 1995. The Hunicks turned a barn into a studio surrounded by 150 acres where dogs and their owners are welcome to roam and play. Stephen had a relief says dogs make people human <laughs> and I bet you see that every day don't you? <laughs> it's true I know Stephen um, had a wit whimsy and wisdom you know so he had these little phrases that are all over the artwork and just out there he was spot on with that you know that connection the centerpiece of dog mountain is the chapel Hunick called it the largest and most personal artwork of his life. The walls are covered with pictures, drawings, and letters left to remember beloved pets who are no longer here. It's been 365 days without you. I feel only one day closer to accepting it. Miss you, old girl. Mm. What's cool about the chapel and how people are after they exit is that everybody's really real and raw and their guard is down and you meet people, you know, they'll just start talking to you without pretense. I'm a dog owner, you're a dog owner. One of the things that I notice about people who own dogs is <laughs> when they are around that animal, they are softened. It's Do true. you see that? Yeah, definitely, because uh, they're with their baby, you know. It's yeah. kind of like seeing people with their little tiny children. It's just, it's the same vibe, I think, you know, and um, and it's wonderful. Tragically, several years ago, Stephen and his wife Gwen both lost battles with depression. But today, friends have ensured their legacy lives on through the mountain, rejoicing in the joy that only a pet can bring. Things are finite, and life is short. Dog Mountain is a great place to come and be celebratory of that, you know, even though it's kind of tough. We're really lucky to be here on the earth and uh, especially people with dogs. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Do you want to go? Yeah, uh, I want to yes. go. I want to be there. That is yeah. such a great story and it is true. Dogs do soften people and make us more human. The combination of uh, joy and tears mm -hmm. in that chapel, mm -hmm. because I saw both of the people who came in, they would write a note and you know, there'd be mm -hmm. some emotion, but also great joy when you see those dogs yeah. running around just enjoying That's themselves. exactly what I said. I was like, oh no, Chuck, you're making me sad. Just watch, because I, I lost a dog over the summer. Mm -hmm. And so literally anybody, it's like, I, I don't ever bring it up. When people ask, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll show you pictures. And like, it makes me happy to go mm -hmm. back and look at pictures, but it does make you sad. And I think we, when I went home over the summer, my family, we had like a little memorial mm -hmm. service because mm -hmm. she's just been with us so long. And so I can imagine that that's just, it's just therapeutic to, to be with around other people and, and kind of read the notes from mm -hmm. other people. It's Certainly just super it is. sweet. Yeah. Dog Mountain has a website. You can buy Stephen Hunick's art. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the friends of Dog Mountain have preserved all that. So mm -hmm. uh, go to my blog. Uh, and you'll get more on it. But we're heading tomorrow mm -hmm. to the home of the Von Traps, and we will talk to the family about their legacy and that little movie you may have heard of, The Sound of Music. You don't want to miss that? it. Once That's coming up <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Can't wait to share that with you.